welcome back so um sorry about the little bit of a weird audio um i'm recording at like night so i'm trying not to be too loud anyways in this video we're going to be going over by the way we're on linux so i know it seems like you know we're on mac but um we're on linux uh i have ssh into my linux machine and in this video we're going to be going over all the DL open, DL sim, and DL close um, operation, not operations, sorry, functions, um, basically loading in shared objects at runtime. Um, I guess this question may come up. Uh, some people may ask, well, what's the difference between this and, you know, linking it out when you compile? Um, one thing is that the um, loader uh, will load in the dynamic link library i'm sorry if i'm getting my terms mixed up it's currently 12 in the morning so yeah and i had a pretty tiring day today but um it will load it right as the program loads this is on demand whatever you want so basically you could have a program where a lot of people can you know let's say for example uh you have a program that parses different types of files right and actually, you know what? Let's think of something else. Let's, um, for example, let's say you have a program, right? And it views images. That's the one thing it does. And your goal is basically to parse the image data and copy all the raw bytes to a frame buffer, right? So you open a file, you check its file name, check its file type, and then you load in the specific plugin needed and you pass in the raw data to it and then a pointer to the frame buffer and all the stuff needed for that. And you basically load in the library and you do it at runtime instead of loading in 500 different libraries, right? You can just load in uh, just the ones you need. Um, and that's what kind of what we mean by plugins. And you can learn how to use these to kind of um, Make your programs you know more extendable again i apologize if i'm mixing up terminologies not my intention but you know lack of sleep can do that to you and i mean it's, it's like more that i'm tired rather than lack of sleep because well no, there is lack of sleep but i am tired but not sleepy anyway so let's uh get started um our our lib um file what we can do is Okay, let's try to think of something that we can kind of make a library for. Like, and actually, let's, um, you know what, scratch that. Let's do something a little bit um, different. Let's call this a different library. Let's call this lib um, hello. Okay, it's going to be called lib hello. And all we're going to do is we're going to return a um we're going to call a function which will return a constructor pointer which returns like a greeting right let's do hello like that and we can then have another file um let's call it lib i don't know hi Okay, and this will also do pretty much the exact same thing. Let's copy all the stuff from there. And let's paste it here and um, let's call it hi. So we've had two libraries here and let's link them separately. Uh, right there and let's do, we have to do it like this. We have to use hyphen shared. And we do lib um, hello.c out lib hello. And then we do the same thing for um, the lib hi, like that. So as you can see, we have, sorry, I forgot to put in the extension. There we go. As you can see, you can see the icon. It's a little bit, um, different it's like the library icon well let's make our main program let's do um 
let's include this DLFCN um, and let's call it main. So what we're gonna do first of all is I'm not gonna go over all the flags and what they do. I'm gonna do one flag and I'm not really not gonna explain it um, because again, that's beyond the scope of this video. I just wanted to show you guys something cool with this um, main function. It's called handle and actually you know what and let's do a, if argc less than two we're gonna just we're not gonna print out anything because this is testing code we should generally throw an error but for invalid arguments i'm not gonna do that um we do dl open this opens the shared object file and maps it in returns a handle the handle is what you're going to use to refer back to this um, shared object let's open whatever um, we give surely we should sanitize the string but example code um, rtld lazy we're going to stick with this and if there is an error, meaning the handle is equal to null, we're going to print an error. This time I will print an error because um, this is kind of important. So we'll say um, error colon percent s for the string. And they might be like, well, let's call str error null, right? Or str error, but we don't do that. We use um, dl error, which will return a char pointer with the um, proper the actual you know error value from what I I think I need it I should probably check this and see if this needs to be freed okay so it is in a statically um, allocated buffer so we don't need to worry about freeing this I just have to make sure um, let's do return exit failure because that, that portion is relevant because, you know, well, memory leaks. We use DL close because, you know, when we use the resources, we want to um, make sure to give them back. It's probably error check this too, but there's limits to how much um, I'm willing to do. Now let's make this function called, well, this is like a type def function. And let's call it greeting. Greeting. And it's gonna take in nothing because remember, this is supposed to be like the function signature for the symbol we're gonna, um, the, fun the greeting function we're gonna call. So here's what we can do. We do greeting, right? And we do like, I don't know, G equals DL sim handle. And here we're gonna, give it the name we're going to call it greeting and once again we'll copy this and make sure to replace the handle with g to make to see if you know if it's null if it's null that means that there is some sort of error with the with finding the greeting function and then all we do is say printf the percent s uh, from shared object slash I guess nah I'm just we won't do that and just do g because remember we named our uh, function uh, g uh oh sorry this was a char pointer whoops okay there we go that should work so let's compile this let's do gcc slash g main slash o greeter of course we don't give it anything so let's do let's give it a random bogus library like lib um i don't know see it doesn't work now let's do lib hi.so hi from shared object now let's swap it out with lib hello hello from shared object it's that simple. That's how you can kind of have like a plugin system. 
and you know a lot of plugins will have like a common function right like a let's say like a parse function right like the example i gave earlier uh or did i give the example i don't even know um but i'll give it again but let's say you have a um, image viewer app and you're managing every type of file right let's say your base png sorry not png image viewer only handles bmp files right so when your program loads it has like a, it looks for all the plugins it loads in all the plugins and whenever somebody opens a bmp file and does like a look up in a, some table right let's say for example um it has like a hash map right and it can look up in that hash map the um handle for the like lib bmp for example and then you you can call like a function called display or parse or whatever and you can pass it in like a frame buffer so basically you contain the logic of every single different kinds of image format in its own plugin and let's say you open a png file and you throw an error saying hey the png plugin is not installed so you install the plugin and then when the program loads this time it sees that there's a new plugin it loads in that plugin and now every time that there's a png file it will look up that plugin and pass it into its like display function and it will do all the png parsing inside of that shared object and then copy the raw bytes to the frame buffer this is a an example i could probably like draw it out for you guys but i think that is a good enough explanation um but yeah you end up containing all that code in different um areas uh, in different diff uh in different shared objects and these are like the plugins and it makes code way more extendable right because anybody can as long as they know the api right anybody can write a new plugin let's say you could even have your own custom image format and write a plugin for it so that your application supports it it's that it's that useful and no this isn't the, the same as you know linking it when you're compiling the program or something like that imagine having to do that every single time you install a new plugin doesn't sound too great does it well this is a much better alternative and actually before i um end this video off just for the sake of experimentation we will add another argument um here where we can call a specific function and try to see if we can like get it to error out of course this is going to work but we, let's do greet it says undefined symbol if we do greeting it works so just to kind of set it home that you know we're handling all the errors and everything like that so yeah that's about it thank you guys for watching um a couple other things that i wanted to mention my the q a should be out like maybe end of this week like friday saturday sunday so please please continue asking questions i am more than willing to answer any questions even if they're repetitive right i don't mind at all um please leave your questions don't don't feel shy to, to ask totally fine and uh yeah so thank you guys for the support especially recently i've said this before but i'm going to say it again we're at 1.5k subscribers and last video i made we were at like 1.2k that was only like a couple days ago which is insane because the first 500 subscribers were a pain for me to gain and now it's just like boom instantly it's insane and i cannot thank you guys enough so again thank you guys for watching let me know what you guys think what i should cover next i have a lot of video ideas planned instead of you know studying and you know listening to my lectures i was planning videos um in my um class and i've got like at least seven ideas well now i have six ideas because this was one of the ideas so i'm working on one other in the background like um i started it today i thought i'd be able to finish it but i wasn't um but yeah sorry for the yapping i tried to end the video off like three times but anyways thank you guys for watching let me know what i should do ne uh, next and yeah have a great day bye